We're almost done with this now. We've calculated the terminal value. You're saying, that 3.2, you're saying based on a 4% perpetual growth rate, at the end of 07, this company at a 10% discount rate and a 4% growth rate is going to be worth $3.2 billion. So what I'd like to do now is we need to finish calculating the discounted value down to a price per share. But you know what? We did that once already already, did we not? So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole screen. Then what I'd like you to do is go to J22, J22, the $1.4 billion. Highlight, shift, down arrow, one, two, three, four, five, six times, down to I, down to, sorry, J28. So J22 to J28. Shift right arrow through to L28. And then you're going to copy this for me. You're going to hit Control C. Now remember, I was setting you up for all of this. We don't want to redo all of these formulas. But if we did it right the first time, which is a big lesson, right? Don't screw up. Do it right the first time. Make sure you take the time to do it right the first time. Then you will be much, much faster in the future. Because you're going to copy this now. And do me a favor. Go down to J33. I don't want you to paste it in yet. I want you to do another edit paste special as a formula. So that was Alt ESF Enter. The reason now I want you to do a copy Alt ESF edit paste special formulas is because I want to maintain the formatting because we got a couple more calculations to do, but I don't want to lose the formatting. So just do Alt ESF on top of J33. So you navigate yourself back to J33, Alt ESF edit paste special formulas. Hit enter. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hit escape. You have now effectively calculated. You think this company is worth anywhere between $52.84 and $67.90 on a price per share basis, on a per share basis, based on your financial model inputs, a 10% discount rate, and a 2 to 4% perpetual growth rate. You are estimating this company is worth anywhere around $53 to $68. That's what you have said the value of this company is worth. Now, compare that slightly with the terminal value method using the EBITDA multiple, 52 to 63. So you're pretty much on par. That doesn't always mean that you have to be around the same neighborhood for all of these numbers, but that's what your analysis is currently saying. Now, we got one, two, two quick more things to do before we are done with this particular lesson. So the first thing I'd like you to do now, please go to cell L33. I want to know, just to, as a quick little sanity check, I want to know, okay, if my terminal value based on an implied perpetual meth growth method is $2.4, $2.3 billion, I want to just check and make sure and see what is that terminal value, enterprise value, that's the value of the entire firm at the end of 07, what is that as a multiple of EBITDA in 07? Because I'm saying that I'm buying this company at roughly and valuing it at the end of five years around seven to nine times. So now I want to cross-reference, just make sure, just to check to see that I'm not way off base. What is this number as a multiple of 07 revenue, uh, EBITDA? Why 07? Because this is the undiscounted terminal value. That is how much we believe the company is worth in 2007 based on the perpetual growth method. And therefore... We want to compare that with the 2007 EBITDA. So let's quickly put in this quick, simple equation. In cell L33 now, I want to say equals, again, cell L33, go to L33, we're going to calculate what is our terminal value multiple based on our terminal value from the perpetual growth method divided by the terminal years EBITDA. So L33 will say equals I33. Now, again, you're taking this on an undiscounted basis because you want to compare your 07 value versus your 07 EBITDA. So if you were to take the discounted number, you're basically comparing apples and oranges. It's not going to work. So I33 divided by, and scroll all the way to the top now, to M8. And do me a favor, hit F4 on M8, hit Enter. So I'm going to go back to the cell, and this basically says now in cell L33, again, implied EBITDA multiple in the terminal value says... I-33 divided by MA anchored. And this says that right now this is worth, what we are saying is this $2.35 billion of our estimated terminal value based on a 2% perpetual growth rate is equivalent to a 7.2 times EBITDA in 07. 
Now let's go down to L34. I want to do the same thing. Just hit a control D as in David for me. So hit an F2 function key. Take a look at that. It's basically saying $3.2 billion divided by the same M8 07 EBITDA. So what this means is that on a 4% implied perpetual growth rate, that's the 3.2, that equals a 9.8 EBITDA multiple. So with that 9.8 EBITDA multiple, we're saying that the value of this company is equivalent as if we did a 7.2 and 9.8 multiple in here.